What's up, everybody? This is the Sports League Podcast. I'm your host, Alex Leak, and welcome back for another episode. And we got a great episode. This is the March Madness Preview. Uh, opening round, opening two rounds of the uh, March Madness Tournament we're going to go over tonight. Uh, you know, the tournament starts tomorrow night in the first round and, you know, through this weekend. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, starting Thursday through Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the first two rounds of the March Madness tournament. Uh, can't wait for these games to get started. And so we're going to go through real quick and make my predictions on, uh, you know, who I think is going to win these first two rounds. So look at the East region. You got UConn against Stetson. I'm going to go ahead and take UConn there. I think UConn is true contenders to win the whole thing. Um, so, you know, them, North Carolina, are going to be tough outs for anybody. Uh, and I got them eventually probably meeting up against each other. So we'll see how that goes. This is a tough one. FAU against Northwestern. Um, I can see either team winning this. I'm going to go with Northwestern, a little Big Ten bias. Uh, I could see FAU winning this one as well. Uh, but – I'm going to go with Northwestern. I like to pick upsets in my brackets. And so I'm going to have Northwestern against UConn in the second round. San Diego State, UAB, another great game. Uh, UAB could steal this one. I could see that. But San Diego State had a great run last year in the tournament. I love their defense. Uh, I just think at the end of the day, San Diego State is going to find a way to win this one. In a tough, hard-fought game, could go down to the wire. Could go to overtime, but give me the Aztecs to find a way to get it done. Uh, Auburn, Yale. Again, Yale is one of those teams that could, you know, sneak up and and, and pull an upset. But, again, I'm going to take Auburn. Defense wins championships, and that sets up a defensive juggernaut matchup in the second round. Two of, you know, some of the best defensive teams in the country, San Diego State and Auburn. That's going to be a must-watch game right there if that's what we get. Uh, BYU Duquesne. This one's tough. Uh, I'm actually going to go Duquesne here. I think that you know BYU is a good team, but I watched Duquesne play, and and they're a very good team as well. And 11 seed, I think they're they're pretty good for an 11 seed. So give me the upset there with Duquesne. I really like Illinois this year. Uh, they could go on a deep tournament run from the three seed. Illinois, out of anyone in the East region, Illinois could be the team that takes down UConn. Uh, I, I think UConn probably wins the East and gets to the Final Four. But if anyone can do it, keep an eye on Illinois. Uh, Auburn, too. Auburn is scrappy, you know. Keep an eye on Auburn, San Diego State. Either of these two teams could go on a deep run. Uh, let's go Washington State. Drake, I'm going to go with the upset. I'm going to take Drake over Washington State. 10 seed Drake to get the win. And I'm going to go Iowa State here. So that's the east uh, region. Let's go down to the west region. North Carolina Wagner, nice win by Wagner last night to, to get into the first round, to get into the bracket. I got North Carolina winning that one. Mississippi State, Michigan State, give me the Spartans. Tom Izzo, you know, those guys, uh, they know how to win, you know, in the tournament. They're, they're always a tough out. So give me, and that would be a great matchup, right? North Carolina, Michigan State. I think we all want to see that one. St. Mary's Grand Canyon, give me St. Mary's. They're a tough out this year as well. And here's an upset pick. I'm going to take Charleston over Alabama. Uh, I was I was feeling Alabama a little bit last year, but, you know, they weren't able to get it done. And, again, with Brandon Miller and those guys. And, again, you know, I'm Alabama, good team, you know. But I just think that they're poised to get beat in an upset. So give me Charleston here. Uh, to win that one. Another upset, give me New Mexico over Clemson. And this one, Baylor-Colgate is interesting. Like, Baylor could go on a deep tournament run. They have the team to do it. But Colgate is red hot as well. At the end of the day, give me Baylor. But that's a game to keep a close eye on, to, uh, you know, this weekend. Baylor-Colgate, interesting first-round matchup there. Potential big, big upset. Um. Dayton, Nevada is interesting because Dayton, you know, they're fun. They're fun to watch. They're fun to root for. 
I hate to be that guy. Give me Nevada over Dayton, and then give me Arizona. So that'll round out the West bracket um, with some, you know, a decent amount of upsets in my West bracket. Uh, let's go to the South, Houston, and it's going to be interesting. I'm a I'm a Houston fan. I'm going to be rooting for Houston. I want to see them in the Final Four. How do they do with that one seed, right? How do they do with the pressure on their back? They're better as an underdog, you know, when people don't expect them to go on a deep run. This year, a lot of pressure on them. We'll see how they handle it. Uh, give me Texas A&M over Nebraska. Wisconsin over James Madison. This is an interesting one, either of these two, but really, I got my eye on Duke, Vermont. Vermont could steal the upset. I'm going to go Duke, though. Duke, Wisconsin will be a really fun matchup if we get that. Uh, NC State all the way. NC State over Texas Tech. NC State's run to win the ACC was so much fun. And uh, I'm hoping to have a former NC State player on uh, maybe next week to talk about the bracket. And hopefully NC State is still playing at that point. That would be, you know, really cool to cover. Here's a chance for a big upset. Give me Oakland over Kentucky. I don't think many people are going to be taking that or riding with that. But I like Oakland over Kentucky as a 14 seed over a 3 seed. Kentucky, don't take Oakland lightly. Light, lightly. They can ball out. And so that would be an interesting 11-14 matchup in the second round. Uh, whoever wins tonight from Colorado, Boise State, I'm going to go ahead and pick Colorado to win tonight. Give me Florida to win regardless in that one. And Marquette over Western Kentucky. Let's go to the Midwest. Purdue over Grambling or Montana State. Give me Purdue. Utah State, TCU. I can't pick TCU. I don't feel comfortable picking them. I'm going to go with Utah State. Gonzaga over McNeese. Kansas over Samford. Kansas is one of those teams that, it, if healthy, could play for the national championship. But without uh, McCullers, I believe his name is, without their, their leading scorer, uh, they're going to be, you know, they're not at full strength. And so it's hard to pick them. Oregon for the upset. Over South Carolina, uh, I watched Oregon win the Pac-12, and they look good doing it. So I got I'm gonna ride with Oregon. Creighton's gonna be a tough out for anybody. You know, we'll see if they can go on that deep tournament run that everyone has been waiting for them to do. Give me Texas over Colorado State. Uh, I keep picking against Colorado State. That might come back to bite me. And then my big upset of the weekend, the biggest one, St. Peter's over Tennessee, the 15 seed St. Peter's over the Tennessee Vols. So you might think I'm crazy for that one, but, you know, follow along, stay tuned, see if I'm right. See if I get that one right. I got St. Peter's over Tennessee. Uh, so I, I like to pick upsets. So um, UConn Northwestern, give me UConn. Uh, San Diego State, Auburn. This, again, this is a very tough matchup. I don't know. This could go either way. I'm going to go Auburn, but I might regret it. San Diego State could easily win, and again, either one of these teams could shock UConn. I'm going to go Auburn, uh, and I you know, I watched them in the Pac-12 championship. I like their brand of basketball, and uh, you know, this is going to be a great game, though. Like If we get this matchup, that's must-watch basketball. Duquesne, Illinois. Again, Illinois has the potential to go on a deep tournament run. They could win the East. Uh, and Iowa State Drake, you know, uh, that maybe, but I just have a hard time taking Drake to the Sweet 16. So give me Iowa State there. No, give me Illinois. My bet on that. I didn't mean to pick Duquesne. Give me Illinois there. So Illinois, Iowa State, UConn, Auburn. That's pretty chalk right there. One, four, two, three. In the East region. Uh, any potential upsets? Of course, San Diego State. That's about it, honestly. I think, you know, Iowa State scares me. Uh, I'm going to take Illinois over Iowa State and then set up an Illinois-UConn. But, you know, uh, so maybe Drake there, maybe Washington State. But I'm going to go with Iowa State uh, and then Illinois to get to the, uh, what, Elite Eight. So North Carolina-Michigan State, as a Spartans fan, I would love to pick this one, but – North Carolina is going to be a hard out for anybody in the country. North Carolina 
might win it all. They're going to be a tough out. Uh, St. Mary's Charleston, give me St. Mary's. Um, New Mexico Baylor, give me Baylor. Nevada, Arizona, give me Arizona. And this is going to be a hard fought. This is like Elite Eight, Final Four type of matchup. Baylor, Arizona is going to be great basketball. And, uh, you know, in the second round, or no, that's Sweet 16. So that's going to be a lot of fun right there if we get that matchup. Uh, and then I got, yeah, St. Mary's and Alabama going down in, in round one. We'll see if that happens. Um, Alabama could get to this point. You know, they could beat St. Mary's. I think even if Alabama gets here against St. Mary's, I'm still taking St. Mary's, but North Carolina should beat St. Mary's. So let's go up to the south bracket. Houston, Texas A&M. Give me Houston. That could be potential. A little scary, but I'm riding with Houston. Wisconsin-Duke, that's a hard-fought matchup. Give me Wisconsin. I'm not really a big believer in Duke this year with uh, NC State. I think they're poised to, to be a tough out. Purdue-Utah State, give me Purdue. Gonzaga-Kansas, if Kansas was at full strength, Kansas is in the Final Four. But without Kansas, without their you know leading scorer, give me Gonzaga. To win that, so Gonzaga, Purdue, Oregon, Creighton, good matchup. Give me Creighton, and keep an eye on this. I'm calling it right now. I could be dead wrong, but keep an eye on St. Peter's to the Sweet 16. That's my that's my pick. 15 seed to the Sweet 16. We'll see if it happens. Um, so you know that's my prediction so far for, through the first two rounds of the bracket. I can't wait. There's going to be so much good basketball to watch. And, uh, look, follow along. We're going to have some big, big interviews in the process. I should have one next week. Got a big one potentially for the Final Four weekend. So appreciate all you guys, you know, following along. Uh, hit that subscribe button. We'll be putting out episodes weekly throughout this tournament. And uh, this is year three of following the tournament. It's a lot of fun every year. So. I appreciate you guys. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you think and have a great week. Peace out.